Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a little section for you today and we've got a background mask in there and when we hover over it we've got some animated dividers. And that's a pretty attention grabbing little thing to have on your desktop website. That's a nice little feature. We're using just the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself to build this today. There's no extra coding or plugins involved at all. So let's get started, really easy to do. I'm going to enable the visual builder so I can build on the front end. Okay, and once loaded, I'm going to go down and I'm simply going to delete this section. And let's add us a new section, we'll start from scratch. I'm going to hover over this little blue line here, left click, little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make mine a regular section today. Inside, I'm going to put a single column and a single row. And inside that, you can put in any module you want. I'm going to put in a simple call to action. Not going to spend much too time styling this thing. I'm going to leave the title as it is. Obviously, put your title there. If you want a button, put what you want your button to say just down below there. You may have noticed there's no button. Button won't actually show up until you put a link in for it. Down below, text area you can put any text that you want here you can align it bold italicize add media like the images and things and you can make headings and things like that like any other text section I'm leaving mine all as it is okay just down below I'm gonna put a link in for my button I'm just gonna put a hashtag in place of a link because I've got no real one as soon as you put a link in there the button will show up there always best practice if you're linking to your own site leave it to open in the same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's, open it in a new tab, that way your site will stay open. And we've got another little box down here. If you want the rest of the module to link to somewhere or even the same link as the button, you can put another link in there. Great, well I've got that. I'm just gonna roll down a bit more. I'm gonna take that background away and the writing will disappear into the white background there, but that's okay, we'll fix that when we add our section decoration. So I'm gonna hit the little trash can to get rid of that color. We're still in the content and at the bottom to background. Great. Well, let's just save this and we'll go into our section and start building it. So I'm gonna click on the field anyway, left click, blue tab for a section. We've got a green tab for a row and a dark tab for a module. I'm gonna go into the section Another content tab, I'm going to go down to background. I'm going to add a color, I'm going to add a blue. I'm also going to add an image. So we've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern or background mask. We're going to use three things today. We're going to use a color, we're going to use an image. I guess I'll use the same image as I used before. And we're also going to use a background mask today. I'm going to hit the little plus to add a background mask. And if you click on the mask field, it'll give you some masks to choose from. I'm going to go with a little sort of arrow thing that I had before. That works fine. But I want to see some of my image through there. So if we roll down just a little bit, click on the color of the mask, I'm going to bring the opacity down so we can see a bit of our image through there as well. Something like that. And I'm actually going to reverse it. If we go down here, we've got some mask transforms. You can flip it left and right, top to bottom. You can rotate it, or you can reverse it. So this will become the clearer, and this will become the sort of white. Let's just do that. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm actually gonna change that color, I think. I'm gonna make it perhaps a darker color. So I'm gonna hit the black there. And again, I'm gonna click on the color and just bring the opacity down a little bit. So we can see some of that image through there, but we've still got our sort of chevrons going on. Great. And you may be thinking, well, why did you bother putting a color in there because I can't see it? Well, let's go back now. We'll go back to our image, background image. And if we roll down, make sure the parallax is set to no or off there. I'm gonna actually blend the color with the background. And you can do this with the gradient too. I'm simply, going to select the multiply. Remember we put a blue in there? So it's going to multiply that with the background there and add it to that background. I think that's a great effect. It's a fantastic effect 
for making your writing stand out without putting an actual background around your text. So I'm fairly happy with the way that's looking. But what I want, want to happen is when they roll a mouse over it, I want some kind of animation to happen. This is how we're going to do it with some dividers here. So still in our section, we're going to go over to design. Second one down, we've got dividers. Now you can have one for the top and the bottom. Top obviously up there, bottom down here. So on the top, let's choose one. I'm going to go for a simple triangle, perhaps something like this. As you can see, it's popped it in there. I'm going to make mine purple in color. It's OK, but again, I want to see a bit of the image in the chevrons through there. You can use it with a fixed color to actually shape your chevrons if you need to. But we're going to do an animation with ours today. So again, I'm going to click on the color and I'm going to take the opacity down. So it's fairly subtle. Great. Now I'm going to select the bottom one here, click on it, and I'll put one on the bottom. And I'll do a similar one. You can put any one you want. You can mix and match if you want to. I'm going to keep mine simple with another sort of triangle type one. There it is. Again, I'm going to put the purple color in there. And again, I'm going to bring the opacity down a bit so we can see a little of what's going on behind there. OK, that's all right. But like I say, I want it to have a bit of movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a hover state for both of these. We're on the bottom one right now. I'm going to take the actual divider height down to zero. So it should actually disappear. If I put just a zero in there, it's actually disappeared. Then when we hover over it, I'm going to make it huge, like maybe sort of 800 pix tall. So this is common to most Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. Go to the thing that you want to affect. In my case, the divider height. If there's a little arrow there, we can set a desktop state when your mouse is not on it. And a hover state, obviously, when your mouse is on it. When we hover over it, I'm going to put something crazy in there like 800 pixels. Just put in the number, it'll put the pixel for you. And that shot that thing way up here and it's spilling out of the section. That's fine, that's the effect I want. So when they're hovering on it, you're not going to see it at all. Oh sorry, when they're not hovering on it, then when they put the mouse on it, it's going to shoot up like that. Now let's do the same for the one that we've got on the top. So I'm going to click on the top. We'll make sure we've got our divider height to zero. And as you can see, that top one's disappeared. I'm going to hit the little arrow once again. And for the hover state, I'm going to make this one 800 pixels also. And that's shot this one all the way down over here. And again, it's spilling out. Now, if you want to keep that effect, that's fine. But I want to actually hide that. I don't want to see it once it leaves the section here. So we can fix that with what they call overflow. Let's take this back to desktop so we can't see it. And we'll go over to our advanced now. And to find the overflow, we'll go down to visibility. And here it is, horizontal and vertical. We need to set both of these to hidden if you want to hide that bit spilling out of the section there. There we go, great. And while we're in the advanced tab, I want to slow down the time it takes once their mouse hits it, for it to go from 0 to 800 pixels. Now the default 300 milliseconds. If I roll down a little bit, here's transitions. We're still on the advanced tab. There's the default 300. I want mine to maybe be pretty slow, maybe 3 seconds. So that's 3,000 milliseconds. That's 3, 1, 2, 3. That's about 3 seconds. That will work fine. So let's save what we've got here. We'll save the page changes, save draft or publish if you're ready, and exit the visual builder. Let's roll on down to where we were working. There's our little section. When I roll my mouse over it, our little dividers should come in. And there we go. And as you can see, or as you can't see, it's not spilling out. We're not seeing anything above or below the section there. Like I say, that's a nice little eye-catching feature to have on your desktop site. So we've combined background masks and dividers to make that little eye-catching section. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.